know, two things come to mind. One is, you know, when I'm struggling or I'm in that fetal position or I had my darkest days, I, I always thought, man, one day this is going to make one hell of a movie. Because I, I, I always imagined from a young age that our, our lives, it's, it's a motion picture. From the day we're born to the day we die is our, our one motion picture. And I've never seen a great movie that doesn't have ups and downs. And I always think to myself, man, this is going to make one hell of a movie one day. And the other thought, um, I, I literally think that about my life, that, that we're filming a live movie. Um, that's why I love vlogging and I love YouTube because we're literally documenting our lives. And one day I won't be on this earth anymore, but you know what? We're gonna have one hell of a movie for our kids to watch and our grandkids to watch. And the other thing I think about when I'm struggling is, man, if I can get through this, I can get through anything. Once I get through this, Raymond, man, I, I'm gonna have so much wind under my wings. I'm gonna soar higher than I've ever soared. And I know I'm, I feel grounded right now, but when I get through this, man, I, there's nothing that I can't do next. So I just, those two mindsets serve me. High levels of frustration are the anatomy for an explosion. So if you're not frustrated, then you're not ready for a breakthrough. So, you know, I, that's, that, that's the first thing. So I know that when I'm feeling bottled up, when I feel that, that, that anxiety, that pressure, uh, you know, we call it frustration, call it whatever you want. I know that I'm close to a breakthrough, but, but here's the thing. I don't, I don't really stop to acknowledge it as frustration. I, I acknowledge it as something, something's there, something's in the way I'm feeling this pressure. I'm feeling this, something's happening, right? There's a breakthrough that's coming. I acknowledge frustration at more, more as a breakthrough. And when I feel that feeling, I've kind of reworked it in my brain to be a good thing. And, you know, it's like a rock. When you when water hits a rock flowing downhill, it, it, it flows around it. And that's how I feel. I, I don't I don't spend a lot of time attaching a bunch of emotion to everything. I find a lot of people they at the end of every day or every week it's they either had a really good day or a bad day. A good day or a bad day. For me it's it's a day. It's a day. There's some good moments, there's some setbacks, but if if I'm operating according to plan, it's another day according to plan so i tell my team listen if you're feeling frustrated that's not a bad thing it means that there's something good on the other side of it and for me i acknowledge it as a breakthrough is coming and i just keep pushing we're here for just just a moment we're here for just a moment like just a, we're just a blip i mean i look out the window i see these beautiful mountains with snow on them those those mountains were there millions of years before i was born and they're going to be there a million years after i've died and we're just here just, just for a moment. So there's gonna be dark times, Steve. There's gonna be down times. You're gonna be scared, you know, maybe most of the way at times, but everything's gonna be okay. And it's all gonna be worth it. So at the end of the day, if you don't wanna look back with a life of regret, just make sure you find a way to enjoy the journey. If you can smile and laugh more times than you can feel down and out, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna live a happy life. So there's gonna be shit days. There's gonna be great days, you know, the highs, you know, maybe don't get too out of control high in the downs. Listen, it's it's only temporary, but you get one shot at this life. So you better enjoy it overall. Or you're going to have a belly full of regret at the end.